Israeli scientists and engineers are developing ways to harvest energy from otherwise wasted sources. Here we see Israeli engineers setting up a system to catch the energy from passing cars. Placed just a few centimeters below the road surface, sensors capture the energy from the pressure of the cars above. Here are the individual piezoelectric generators, ready to be embedded in the road. After careful planning, a layer of quick-drying concrete is poured into the shallow trench and the generators are quickly put in place. In order to minimize the disruption to traffic, this is done at night time. The generators are wired up so that the electricity can be harvested and used to charge batteries by the roadside. The generators are then covered with bitumen sheets to ensure that the asphalt used for the road surface binds firmly to the concrete holding them in place. Finally, the road is asphalted and rolled with a steamroller. Here's how it works. Vehicles passing down the roadway actually slightly deform the road. The piezoelectric generators are embedded 5 centimeters below the road's surface. They harness the energy from the deformation of the road, which would normally simply be transferred into heat. The generators convert the mechanical energy from the road movement into electricity, which is either stored in batteries or connected directly into the grid. This electricity can then be used for road lighting, traffic lights, speed cameras, roadside billboards or energy for towns and communities near the roadway. Bright Source Energy and its subsidiary, Luz2, planted a seed in the desert. That seed, a breakthrough for harnessing solar power, has taken root as a working plan for the future of sustainable energy. The plan continues to grow today as Bright Source develops commercial solar thermal power plants to provide large utility companies with clean solar energy. Using its proprietary technology, Bright Source's plants will provide a cost-effective alternative to burning fossil fuels. Deep in Israel's sun-drenched Negev Desert, at the Bright Source Luz 2 Solar Energy Development Center, thousands of motor-driven mirrors follow the sun as it moves across the sky, throughout the day and throughout the seasons. Solar power plants harness the sun much like a camper uses a magnifying glass to start a fire. The small, flat mirrors reflect the sun's rays onto a boiler atop the central tower. When the concentrated sunlight strikes the boiler's pipes, it heats the water inside to 550 degrees Celsius, nearly 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, thus achieving a much higher operating efficiency than other solar power plants. In a commercial plant, the steam is piped from the boiler to a standard turbine, where electricity is generated. From here, transmission lines carry the power to homes and businesses. And nothing is wasted. In order to conserve precious desert water, Bright Source uses air cooling to convert the steam back into water. The water is then returned to the boiler in a closed loop. Bright Source's plants cost less to build and operate more efficiently than other solar thermal plants. Each mirror in a Bright Source plant can power one home. A plant the size of the Solar Energy Development Center could produce 1.5 megawatts, enough to power 1,100 homes and reduce carbon emissions equivalent to taking 400 cars off the road. Bright Source's first commercial plant will generate 100 megawatts. 
Our Ivanpah complex in Southern California will generate 400 megawatts. And our contracts with Pacific Gas and Electric will generate up to 900 megawatts. Today, we're actively developing over 4.2 gigawatts of solar power, enough for 3.2 million homes and the removal of 1 million cars from the road. The beautiful thing about the new age of solar energy is that every day the sun shines down 5,000 times the amount of energy needed by the entire planet. BrightSource can harness this power efficiently and reliably. And that's how a seed in the desert blossoms into a bright future.